So it's really overcast today. In fact, I'm starting to feel some rain come down just a little bit, just like a few drizzles. It's unusual for Los Angeles, but we desperately need it. I mean, it is winter time. I don't know why I looked at my watch to figure out what season we were in. Los Angelinos don't like to get wet. They don't like to drive in the rain. Thankfully, the convention is all inside, so I won't get wet except for the parts where I'm in between the car and the convention center. I should head back inside, grab my gear, and hit the road. As soon as I got in the car earlier, it started actually raining. I grabbed my umbrella, tried getting a parking spot right by the convention center, and it was full. So I went and parked over by my office and took a lift down. Jasmine, you were great. I gave you five stars and a tip, and you got me here quick. You're awesome. You got past all sorts of traffic. seen the Divergent series, although supposedly I served jury duty with Shailene Woodley and didn't realize it. Wait, well, she was in a different jury. Represent Shailene Woodley because she's badass and awesome. Yes. Uh, one, two, three. It looks so great. <laughs> they look so great. Gina! Internet, Dino, Dino, the internet. Hello, internet. I've heard very much about you. A lot, actually. <laughs> so somewhere over here should be Rachel Kimsey. And now Rachel is the voice of Wonder Woman for the new Justice League action series coming out soon. <laughs> there she is. Internet, this is Rachel. Rachel, this is the internet. Hello, the internet. <laughs> it's like I have my own entourage behind me. Fan me with flames, entourage. Shower me with adoration. It's not working. So you have four levels of cosplay at comic conventions. You know what, I take that back. You have five levels of cosplay. One, the people who don't dress up at all. Two, the people who, who will wear like a nerd shirt or something. Three, the people who will throw on an accessory, a pair of like cat ears or a hoodie, beanie, like Jane's hat. Four, the people who sort of dress up in cosplay. They're close to it, they've put a few things together. And then five are the really, really well done cosplay outfits. These are the people who are most likely competing in the masquerade, who are walking around in giant robot suits. Okay, I have to show you, I just saw the front of Celeste's program and they made it look like, was it Saturday Evening Post or something? What were those? Is it it, it's the Norman Rockwell, uh, but the Saturday Evening Post uh, covers that he always did and it's, I, I love this. This is awesome. The good guys are over here. And the bad guys are over there. It's a more touching side to the Sith Lord than uh, oh, that's true. you usually see in the, the propaganda material. Yeah, definitely. I 
one of the cool things over here is they actually teach you if you want to create your own costume. I think I want to dress up like a princess. Usually we have the slave Leia out, which might have done well for you also. I don't even want to see that. An Ewok. Ewok is very... And I don't even have to shave my back. Plus some trick or treat. Just, just for walking by. You know, I could, I probably, to be honest, I probably could pull off the old Ben. Yeah? No, that'd be good. That'd be good. How about a Jawa? Oh, there we go. See, I'm, I'm picking all the perfect ones for you. Are you saying that I would not be a good princess? I think you'd be an awesome princess. <laughs> Most beautiful, right? Thank you. Very voluptuous. Hey! Pixie sticks are made of pure cocaine, I mean sugar. As if I didn't already have enough energy. <laughs> And so Los Angeles, yep, that's our ride. And officially, Los Angeles Comic Con is in the past. You're so Okay, so I had a little bit of time before my next activity tonight, which is a friend's birthday party. Not enough time to sit down and finish editing from the stuff I started last night, but it was enough time to come up to one of my secret hideaway spots, the castaway, well, near the castaway. This place looks out over uh, the valley of Los Angeles, the San Fernando Valley, and specifically Burbank and, and Studio City. This is one of my secret spots. I haven't come up here in a while, but I've, you know, every once in a while when I really just need to get out and away and as close to like the trees and nature as possible without getting out of the city, I come here because it is beautiful. It's a little bit more remote. So now I'm kind of sharing it with you. Okay, I think I got the shot I came up here looking for, so I'm going to pack up and hit this party. Yes, I'm Here's the birthday girl that's telling us we're not allowed to touch any of the food until it's all ready and photographed. Do you have a costume? Is this nope. little thing your costume? Oh no. I am dressed up for Halloween as a Comic Con attendee. Exactly what I'm dressed up as. I would have never guessed. Dude, nice costume. <laughs> I've just been kicked out of my seat because it's time to photograph the food. Yes. Not eat it, yeah. photograph it. This is the 21st hey, century. Hey. We always photograph You're our food before we eat it. You're photographing yourself this entire time. I think she can photograph the food. <laughs> and what convention would be complete without a Doctor Who police TARDIS? The TARDIS. The TARDIS. The TARDIS. The TARDIS. The TARDIS. The TARDIS. The TARDIS.